Here's another example. Pima Community College is currently charging $81.50 per credit hour. For fall term, the cost per credit hour will increase to $3. What is the effect size? The effect size is going to be different between the three, you know, two realities, what it's charging now and what it will charge in the music, uh, future. So this is the effect size. The effect size is $3. Is the increase in tuition of practical significance in your opinion? And again, this is a keyword in your opinion. So this is $3 per credit hour. And of course, this is just based on your situation. Let's figure out if you're taking 15 credits, the increase will be, what's it, $3 per credit hour? So $3 times 15, that's a $45 increase. So again, now you ask your after your question. Yes, I, I don't want to pay $45 if I didn't have to. But is that number of any practical importance to you? And again, this is now a personal situation because depending on your situation, yes, that might be of practical importance. Or maybe, no, this is not of practical importance. So notice this, this idea of practical significance or not is based on the situation you're finding yourself in and what will it mean moving forward. This is not a statistical question. This is a practical question depending on the situation. One more example. You manufacture dye and you want to make sure your dyes are fair. So again, if you want to do this, you please stop the video and I'm going to just go through this uh, myself. And then you can see how well you have did. So I'm going to run this test. You throw the, the, your, the dye, you're testing it 80,000 times and it produces 13,000 degrees. So, Statistic, and now we're doing to find out if this die is uh, will come out to the one six that it's supposed to be, and the alternative will be that somehow the die is not coming out to those one six that it's supposed to do. And again, this mentioned there's a way to do this, so we test all of them at once, but we're only testing one idea right now. So we got thirteen thousand over eighty thousand. It's just thirteen over eighty, and that's approximately. 0 0.1625. Okay, about. It's so my effect size. Again, I'm rounding this a little bit just to make my life a little simpler for right now because all we're trying to do is, is test an idea. I'm not trying to be very precise. So there's my effect size. Again, very small. I'm going to do one, more, one proportion Z statistic. And I get 3.1623. And I'm going to enter this into GeoGebra. And you do the same. I should draw a graph, but I'm not kind of in a hurry. I'm going to do this quickly. And when I do this, I get 0 0.0000783. Again, that's not the p value. This is a two sided test. So I need to double it. So two times. 0 0.00783, that comes out to 0 0.001566. Okay, I'm going to just approximate it to 0 0.0016. Okay, that is my p-value. Well, all that it's saying is, if the probability that of a certain chance of one of the signs is going to come up is 1.6, the probability of seeing 0.1625 or something more extreme in either direction of one six is, well, how many times that happens? 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 would occur 16 times out of 10,000 attempts. Again, very rare. And certainly it is significant at the 3% level. In other words, 0 0.0016 is not less than 0 0.03. So statistically significant at 3%. And all this means is, uh, the the probability of one sixth is not correct. Okay, so you're manic not, but that, that's the, the interpretation. It's not one six, and this is my effect size is point zero zero four one six. So you're manufacturing the dies for monopoly game is the effect size of practical significance. So now we know the die is not exactly a fair die. It's off a little bit. But is that a practical significance for a monopoly game? Probably not. 
I mean, are you going to notice uh, an occurrence of 16 or 10,000 throws in a Monopoly game? Um, no, I mean not. Uh, you know, for, so f for a Monopoly game, I'm going to say no. No, the, we don't really care. So even though this is not exactly 1-6, for practical purposes, it is like 1-6. Even though statistically, we kind of came to the conclusion that it's not exactly 1-6. Okay, it's a little bit off. You know, manufacturing dice for Las Vegas gaming is the effect size of practical importance. Well, now it's a little different, isn't it? Because this, when we talk about Vegas, the way they set up their games, it is important all of a sudden to know exactly what these numbers are, or at least very close to that. And the question we have is, is being off this much, if, you know, a little bit, is that going to affect the revenue stream coming into this game? So is the dice is the effect size of practical importance for Las Vegas? I don't know. I would have to do some more calculation, but possibly the small effect size is of practical importance. And that's again what you have to consider. Practical importance is dependent on the situation and what you're about to use this for. So now that we've learned this lesson about sample size and that really, as we increase the sample size, if there is a difference, we, must, we might be able to detect it depending how small it is. And again, that, that difference is the effect size. The effect size is the difference between what you're expecting and what you observed or between what you were expecting and what true reality is. So that's what I'm depicting here. Maybe this is your null and this is your true but again true but difference is small now that brings us to the next thing which is practical significance which was mentioned here what is practical significance it just means the meaning of practical significance is straightforward and we can phrase it in many ways is your result relevant is it useful is it meaningful does discovery of this new possible result cause a new way of thinking about the situation? No, it is possible for a result to be statistically significant, but of no practical significance or importance. So you'll see any word, sometimes practical significance or practical importance. And this very loose language because it's not about uh, statistics, it's just about how we think about the result. Uh, we can judge this by looking at the effect size. There, and there's what I'm the effect size that I'm promoting right here is probably the simplest one and the one that usually you start out with uh, to try to understand this idea of practical. There's other ones then that try to measure whether the effect size is small or big depending on the situation. Then that's more statistics. What must also be knowledgeable about the subject being tested to make a judgment about practical significance? So it really is, a, it's now thinking about what it means, the result means. And it's all about the differences. And one perspective is, if let's say that you, this is again, this is what you think the null value is, but it turns out the reality is a little different. But the question is, is that difference here of any importance? Do you care if you're a little bit off, right? If, if all of a sudden you have a bank account and uh, uh, even though you want that to be precise, but let's say that, oh, maybe you're not, you have a, a drawer full of cash and then you thought you had uh, $540 and you start counting it up and it turns out to be $535. And then you go, well, I thought it was 540. Is that that $5 difference of any importance to you? You know, you might scratch your head. I thought, I really thought it was 540, but you know, 535. Okay, I'm not a big, big deal. And that's the idea uh, of a practical significance. Is a difference of the what you were expecting, what you got, or what you think is true, and what actually is true of any importance. So consider question 1c. What is, is the effect size? So when we look at the final question here, the effect size of the last one, let's get that in here. 1c, there it is. This was the effect size, 0 0.00500074. Again, pretty much the same as the other ones, right? So the effect size, oops, not this one. The effect size hasn't been changing at all. The effect size in C, which really was about the same size as all the rest of them, is 0 0.0050074. Okay, that's what it is. And in, in notice part C, the result is statistically significant. 
at the 5% level. Significant, yes, it was, because the p-value, corresponding p-value, was zero point zero three two five nine eight, which is significant at the five percent level, which is what we were using to judge. No, the three percent level, which is yes, I think we were starting with the five percent, five percent. I don't notice I did switch up to three percent, but it should have been five percent along, which is about the three five percent level. Okay. So again, we found them to be statistical level at this significance level. But is this of any importance? Is it of practical significance in your opinion? And probably the answer is probably not. And what was the situation? Let's look back at what it was in question 1A. Um, the 2016 report suggests that half the population plays some type of video game regularly. It also believed that 2017, a change has taken place. Okay, so that what we're saying is all we found was the change was small, if there is a change. I mean, point, between the 0.5 to 0.4 or 7. So it's that difference, even if there was that change, if and if it's true, is that important? And most likely for this scenario, no, it's not important. Uh, so is the effect size practical? Probably not. Uh, this The difference... serves no practical purpose. So again, the lesson here is just because a result I'm going to say this a little differently. If a result is statistically significant, Okay. Here I've said it's, it's of practical importance. I'm going to say another something else. Just because it results significant, it does not mean the effect size is large. So I'm going to look at it from the effect size. So when you set up a hypothesis test, which we're not going to go into right now, you have to take into account all these different possibilities. And you then, once you take into account all these, the possibilities that can happen, this allows you to choose the correct sample size for the situation you're trying to explore. 